So if you have tried to solve um, Desmos screen four and you're stuck, meaning you've used your notes, you've attempted it by yourself and you're stuck, this is exactly where you need to be. If you've not yet tried it on your own using your notes, pause this video, try to solve screen four on your own, and then come back if you are still stuck. And as we're working through this video, make sure that you're following along with me so that my screen and your notes or your screen look exactly the same. Don't just watch me solve this entire video um, and then go back and try to solve the inequality. So take notes, pause the video when you need to. But let's get started. So I've got my inequality here and I know I need to solve the inequality and I know I need to graph it on the number line. So I've broken my inequality up into two pieces. This is my red piece, and then this is my green piece. So make sure this is in your notes that you've got your two pieces. And then we've seen these before. These are easy peasy. So the first thing that I need to do is get my, or get X by itself. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this positive 39, which means I need to, to, to subtract 39 from both sides. So if Desmos scientific calculator is not up yet, go ahead and pull it up. So I've got nine minus 39 and I get my answer is negative 30. So coming back, I've got negative 30. The inequality sign stays the same for now. And then I've got negative X. Now, whenever we see a negative sign with no coefficient, we can just assume that it's negative one. So now I've got to get X by itself. So I need to divide by negative one. So this symbol here means divide by negative one. I'm gonna divide this side by negative one, oops, one. And of course, going to Desmos, I've got negative 30 divided by negative one, which gives me a positive 30. That makes sense. Anything divided by one is itself and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So when I'm solving this, I'm gonna get 30 on the left side, but because I divided by a negative number, my sign has to switch. So I'm changing directions with this sign. And then the negative ones cancel out, so I'm just left with X here. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Gotta get rid of this 39. It's positive, gotta subtract. So minus 39 on both sides. Now I'm gonna need decimals again to do four minus 39. Make sure you're watching your negative signs, four minus 39. I get my answer is negative 35. Oh my gosh. So now I've got a negative X bringing down my um, inequality sign. And then I've got negative 35. Just like with the other one, I know that this is actually negative one X. I'm gonna divide both sides by that negative one to get X by itself to isolate the variable. Plug this into Desmos negative 35 divided by negative one. I get my answer is positive 35. But when I divide by that negative one, since it's a negative number, my inequality sign flips and I'm left with X is less than 35. So now I've got my two pieces of this inequality together. I'm gonna go ahead and put them together. So 30 is less than X, which is exactly what I have in red. And then X is less than 35, which is what I have in green over here. Now I'm ready to graph my inequality on the number line. So I'm gonna type this here so I don't forget. And I'm gonna have an open circle at 30. I'm going to have an open circle at 35 because this sign is just less than. If it were less than or equal to, my circles would be closed. And now I just have to shade in the middle and I am done solving and graphing this inequality.